Let me just spill this tea. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. And I'm just realizing that's how I start off like all my videos. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is about my experiences with different celebrities and i'm gonna tell you the good stories the really awkward stories with me and i'm gonna expose some celebrities okay so yeah if you want to hear these stories continue watching okay so i have a few good stories um this one is gonna start off with sean mendes so here's my picture i met sean at my local radio station they were having a contest on you call and you win me and greets to meet him. But with my luck, I have never won and I didn't win me and greets. Just, it was just me and my sisters. We ended up going to the radio station waiting outside, hoping that we could like get in. But we didn't until my mom kind of realized that she had connections to this radio station. So we got hooked up and ended up going in. So we were kind of waiting in a room and there was like Pac-Man table. Like, like you know the pac-man game so but it was like in a table form so it's like a little like desk so we started playing it actually my sister started playing the game so we were kind of so distracted we were all kind of just yelling at her to go this way go that way after i kind of realized that the workers started walking by us i've met these um radio station guys before so i just kept looking at the game until my sister kind of hit me and i was just like what and then I looked up and I see Sean, he's laughing at us while we're yelling at this Pac-Man game. So that was just like the funniest thing ever because legit he was watching us yell at a table. It looked like we were yelling at a table. So that's the first part of the Sean story. The second part is after that there was a little acoustic session. So we met Sean there, we watched him sing. <laughs> So before, I'm gonna go back a little bit. So before MadCon came to, to my city and I went, because when I was younger, I was highly obsessed. So before, Sean was in MadCon that time, so he was there. And there was this little like thing, They like it was Sean, Matt, Hayes, Aaron, I think. They all started walking out of the building that we were in for MagCon, and some of these girls were like, let's play tag. So we started playing tag around this building. So they started running, and like I started running. So that was a big commotion. There was a picture of Sean and all of them getting chased by us. So yeah, that's my flashback story. So I brought it up to Sean. <laughs> So yeah, that's my good time with Sean. So my second story I have is with the girls of Fifth Harmony. Those girls are like legit the sweetest girls you'll ever meet. Met them was at a CD signing. They came to my city, and my sister actually went meet greet, so we ended up meeting them and taking a picture of them this picture i don't know why but with these girls because i've been um, a huge fan of them for a really really long time i watched them during x factor and so i got really emotional we took the picture and i started walking off camila um was talking to me for a while like to distract me she was telling me that she liked my necklace and then so i said bye to her i hugged her she said she loved me and she was like the sweetest thing ever and then i walked off to dinah and I kind of started already crying because my eyes kind of started like tearing up because she looked at me and she's like, oh my god, oh my god, your eyes are tearing up. And I was just like, I know, I know. And then Normani came and they both started hugging me. Allie came in and she was just like, you're okay, you're beautiful. And I was just like, these girls are the sweetest things ever. I will love to harm me forever and ever. And Camila and I, they're both doing amazingly. And yeah, so that's another sweet story another story that i was awkward in these two are actually really big um was for keen and jc 
I met them back when they went on tour. I wanted to do this pose where I kind of like leaned onto JC and like put my legs over Kian's lap because they were already on the floor. Here's my awkward picture. So I sat down with them. I was like, oh hey JC, hey Kian. They're like, hey hi. So I was just like, can I like lean on you, JC? And he was like, yeah, sure. I asked Kian. I was like, can I put my legs on you? And he said, yeah, okay, that's fine. I kind of started putting my legs on top of him and he looked at me and was just like oh so you want to do it that way and like smirked at me and i swear i was just like um uh yeah i i guess so <laughs> i kind of just like stood there and looked at him and he started laughing and i swear i turned so red because it was so uncomfortable and i didn't know what the heck to do so i left my legs on him and he just kind of like put his hand on my leg and was okay so i was okay okay Okay, cool. So before the picture was taken, I kind of leaned up and put my arms out because I was kind of uncomfortable. And then JC was just like, ooh, you look like an airplane. And I was like, an airplane? Okay. So he was just like, let's do an airplane. And I was just like, okay. So he kind of, he ended up putting my arms back up behind them and said leave your hands there so i left my hands there listening to them and i was like in my head i knew this picture is not gonna look good i'm gonna look stupid they're gonna look cute so that's one of my awkward times so here comes the tea related stories that i am about to expose about these celebrities okay so please do not send hate to these celebrities um yeah, I had some bad experiences with them, but I think they might be just going through something that day or that hour or whatever. I mean, in that time, I might have been mad because it actually happened, but I meant like, it's chill, it's whatever. Everybody always has a bad day. So, I'm gonna spill some tea right now, okay? Okay. So, I don't have any tea right now, I just have water. So, let me just spill this tea about Nick Jonas. <laughs> so... I met Mick Nick Jonas back at a Christmas concert that they had in my city. We had meet and greet, so we ended up walking into the meet and greet. Um, so we walked in. It was a group of probably like six of us. We were excited. My sister is like a huge Nick fan. So when we got up to him, we all kind of like went, hi Nick, and we all walked up to him. But instead of him giving us hugs and being a lovey, he shrugged us off. Uh, my friend tried to give him a hug and he kind of pushed her off. My sister gave him a hug and he just looked at her. I gave her a glare, like a dirty look. And like, pushed her off. Like, okay, we're here for you and you're being hella rude. But that already kind of ruined our mood. So we're just like, okay, whatever, let's, let's take the picture. He's already being rude and we're over it. So we started taking the picture. After the picture, we all said, I love you, Nick. Yeah, it was rude at the time, but now I'm just like, you probably had a bad day. So that's me exposing Nick. So my next tea I'm spilling is for Jack Alinsky. I bought Jack and Jack meet and greets for when they performed at a festival in my city. So... I bought the main greets and I was so happy that day because I've never met Jack and Jack. I've never seen them before. And right before when I was driving to the actual event, Jack Johnson followed me. I was like overly excited. So when we got into the main greet, it was really, really hot. Um, so everyone is kind of in a bad mood already because of the heat. So we started getting to the, like closer in line to meet them. They were around the corner. We were right there. Jack Johnson was like the sweetest thing ever. Yes, thank you. He said he loved me, he said he loved my outfit. I said I loved his outfit and I was like, you followed me right before this. And he was like, oh really, that was you? So he kind of remembered who I was. So I was happy go joy for that. But when I turned to Galinsky, um, maybe it was because I was giving too much love to Johnson or something was on his mind, I don't know. I went to Galinsky and I was like, hi Jack, I love you. I came for a hug, and you know when people, like, go for a hug, they put their arms out too. When I went to Galinsky, he looked at me and just stood there. Like, so I ended up going in for the hug, and he kind of stood there, like, just stand there while I hugged him. 
like thanks i guess but like i wanted a hug like i'm not here just for johnson and i'm sorry i talked to johnson but i had something to tell him and he was already talking to me so i tried to bring up a conversation with glinsky i was just like hi glinsky how are you and he didn't answer me he just turned the other way like okay um i don't know what i did like cool i guess but that kind of ruined my mood but in the picture he made it look good that's me exposing to people my experiences with people really go on the good side i haven't really been bad except for those two stories i'm really awkward with most other stories i have a lot of other stories but this video would be really damn long if i told everything so I hope you guys enjoyed. I am coming out with more and more videos. I have a lot of ideas in this head. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay beautiful and have a good day. Bye.